Betty Ford Breast Care Services is the most comprehensive breast care program in the area. In fact, we have recently introduced tomosynthesis, which is 3D mammography. So women who have dense breasts and may have one additional criteria, uh, high risk criteria as designated by the NCI, are eligible to uh, have a tomosynthesis in place of their annual mammogram. 3D mammograms are acquired by the machine taking a series of several images um, at slightly different angles and then using a computer to reconstruct that into slices so we can step through uh, the breast in, uh, slice by slice instead of looking at the whole breast at one time. And so since we can look at it slice by slice, it's less likely that a small cancer can hide behind an area of dense breast tissue because we're looking at those on separate slices. It's also very valuable as a diagnostic tool because it lets us be more definitive about what we're seeing in the breast. And so we're able to characterize something as clearly benign, like a normal lymph node in the breast, or suspicious enough that it needs biopsy. And so it also helps us decrease the number of people we have to bring back for a follow-up exam in six months. It's particularly exciting, I think, for patients who may have a family history of breast cam cancer, for an example. Uh, they are extremely anxious particularly if they're called back because they've had a suspicious mammogram. And this can serve as peace of mind because if there is indeed something, the radiologist is able to manipulate the images as a 3D image and uh, better detect or interpret whether this is an abnormality that needs to be addressed or something that you don't need to worry about. We've actually been doing um, tomosynthesis for quite a while because even before it was approved by the FDA, we were part of the clinical research trial uh, to prove the effectiveness of tomosynthesis in picking up small early breast cancers. And as part of the trial, we had several cases where in addition to uh, seeing the cancer that we already suspected, we picked up something else in the breast. And uh, one case that I remember specifically is when in addition to the the known cancer, we picked up a, a, a tiny four millimeter diameter additional cancer that would, was not seen on any other imaging test, just on the tomosynthesis. It's another example of how Betty Ford has influenced the radiologists, the staff, uh, and myself in terms of making sure that we bring the absolute best technology and proven technologies uh, to the women in our community.